tonight we're going to be doing um, a spring kind of summery wreath. Um, and I'm going to be um, doing a little bit of different kind of a ruffle tonight. Excuse me. Yeah, a ruffle. And they're going to be um, two different colors. So um, it's, gonna, it's the first time I've done it, so it'll be interesting. And I also um, changed up my ribbon a little bit. I cut them with some pinching shears, and um, they're really pretty. So I'm going to show you um, the edging on them. Let me see if I can get a good shot of it. So they kind of got a, like a little jagged edge to them. So that's kind of different. Um, and we're going to do poof ruffles and rolls. Um, I'm only going to be doing eight rolls, and I'm going to be doing them in this light blue. And I'm only going to put them in um, uh, eight places around the wreath. Okay, and so um, I'm going to be doing this sign which is really cute. It says, um, life is a beautiful ride. It's a cute little bike on it right here. Oops, wrong side. I always do that. <laughs> and then I got these adorable little bikes in pink and blue to um, put on it with a little flower basket. And we're going to be doing some tubing, too, at the very end. And um, we're going to get started. So if you're new to my channel, it is um, CB's Reefs and Decors, and I'm Cece. And welcome in. And if you um, would like to um, see me, again, just put live or alert in the comments there. My moderator is Cheryl. Cheryl is answering your questions. She's with Al's Tech Talk. And she also um, makes reefs also. And I'm sure she'll put that web um, that page up there on Facebook for you. Hello, Kathy. Okay, so we're going to start off with um, our, uh, our poofs are going to be um, 12 inches. And it's going to be with a 21-inch mesh. And it's this blue mesh. I'm going to um, go ahead and move the camera so y'all can see what I'm doing. So it's going to be this blue mesh right here. It's really pretty. Then I'm going to be doing my ruffles in these two different colors. And this is going to be our rolls. Okay? So if you have any questions, just holler. And I'm going to scrunch this up. And I'm going to get it real tight. Also, this is a 15-inch reef form. So, and it's in blue. And I'm going to start on this bar right here. And I'm going to zip tie it to that bar. And then we want to cut that little plastic tail off. And we want to turn it to the side, to the back of the wreath. And then we're going to start our hoops. Just want to um, kind of get it real super tight. And we want to do 12. And go to this tie right here, directly to next to that bar. And do two twists as tight as you can get it then we want to spread them out i 
Hi, Vicki. Hi, Bonnie. Again, if you're new to my page, I'm C's Bees Reefs and Decor, and my name's Cece. And if you'd like to get alerts for um, when I go live, just put live or alerts in your comments, and we'll get you an alert. Please share my page, my live, please. I'd sure appreciate it. Hope everybody's doing great. Yes, I do love blue. Blue's like one of my favorite colors. Again, we're doing 12 inch poofs with a 21 inch mesh. This is nice mesh too. I got this mesh at um, Craft Outlet a while back. But if any of you um, do any kind of shopping for mesh, Hobby Lobby, I know that some people don't like their mesh and um, don't tend to buy it. But however, um, if you need it for like a base on your um, reef, it's really good. And today I scored mesh for $1.49 on 21-inch mesh. So that would be... If you need some mesh, I'd check out your local Hobby Lobby. I have a lot on clearance right now. But tonight, this is not from Hobby Lobby. This is from Craft Outlet. Okay, we're getting there. Again, make two little turns and one more on the bottom. And I'm going to go directly onto the top and zip tie it on this bar same bar that I did the bottom with, I'm going to do the top. You want to try to pull it as tight as you can. Yes, their mesh, um, Hobby Lobby's mesh is on sale, but they also have their, um, I don't know if it's off season or they're just discontinuing the colors. They had some um, colors there that were a dollar forty nine and I believe a two forty nine for di another different color. So I scored and I went ahead and bought it. Let me just open these for like um I'm, when I need a um just a base color on my reefs because sometimes your reefs are so full that you can't even see the mesh. So um. There's no reason to spend good quality um, mesh on something you're not going to see. I'm going to go to that first tie. Ooh, this is really pretty. But um, you're going to see a pretty much of this mesh on my reef tonight so I needed to use nice quality mesh and I just love craft outlet mesh I'm 
Yes, Bonnie, um, Hobby Lobby also has ribbon on sale. Yes, it's, it's, it's very horrible to cover beautiful mesh. That's why it, um, if you put a lot in your reefs um, that covers that mesh, there is no reason to spend uh, 12 to $13 on something you're just going to cover. Like this one, I believe, was, um, I'm, I want to say it was like $11.99. Well, bucks, and I really don't want to cover it. So, and it's so pretty. It's a gorgeous blue, and you can really tell it's really good quality because um, I haven't had one fray. Watch me get some since I said something. I also have um, a share all page. It's called C's um, Creative Attic. You all are welcome to go up on there and look at all the pretties that people are making. And you're welcome to share your work. I also have a Facebook page, C's Bees Reefs and Decors. And I also have an Etsy page, C's Bees Reefs and Decors. And I have a YouTube page, C's, B's, Reefs, and Decors. Okay, so now I'm going to zip tie this, finish up the um, top part. Hi, Janelle. Thanks for coming in, girl. Let's get this real tight and clip it. Do again. Use my scissors, and we're going to cut this in here as close as we can get it without it slipping through. Y'all, this is Susie's mesh roller. It is awesome. We're going to turn that to the back underneath of the reef. Y'all, I missed a, I missed a, um, poof. Let me get that. When you miss a poof, it's okay. You can go back and put another zip tie in it and fix your boo-boo. And you'll never see it. Just going to zip tie that again. Let's do my 12 inch poof. And go ahead and set it in there and scrunch it on down. You always hate when you cut too much, uh, too soon, but you know what? It, mesh is very forgiving. And when I'm done here, you won't even know it's there.
push that to the back. Poop this out. And cut your last mesh. And roll it to the back. All right. Really pretty. Gorgeous color. Okay, I'm going to move the um, mesh roller. It gives me a little bit more room. And we're going to start with our ruffles. Now, like I said, I'm going to do two different colors this evening. I'm going to do this orange. And I'm going to do this yellow. And we're going to um, put them in in one tie. This is the first I've done this. But I said, hey, why not? Something a little different. Now, um, my ruffles are going to be 15 inches. Because if I used um, 30 inches, it's going to be um, too much in the ties. So I um, cut it down half, and I'm using 15 inches for a ruffle, for each ruffle. Hi, Tina. Thanks for coming in. If, you, if any of you are new and you'd like to see my lives, if you could um, put live in the comments. Let me get my trusty little holder, y'all. Here it is. If you could like and share my page, I sure appreciate it. Cheryl's my moderator. She's with Al's Tech. Actually, I'm going to go. Go like this. Y'all see this okay? And give it two good twists. And I'm going to do um, the orange on the outside of the yellow. And then I'm going to take the yellow on the outside of the orange. So it looks kind of like... Um, Two different color mesh. You see that? Thanks, Janelle. Hi, Janet. So that's what we're going to be doing. And we'll see if I like it at the end. I may not ever do it again, but I thought, why not give it a shot? Actually, I'm going to do yellow first this time around. And it'll be the opposite. Thank you, Vicki. I'm really excited to get it all together because sometimes, you know, when you put these colors together, it looks a bit wacky. But believe me, at the very end, it's all going to come together, guys. Scrunch it down there, two great big twists. Now this one, the yellow is going to go on the outside.
going to turn it this way and the orange is going to go on the opposite direction. You see how that's different? Okay, so let's get busy. Um, again, I'm doing a bike theme wreath tonight, and this is my little sign. It's Life is a Beautiful Ride. And I got these most adorable bikes to put on with it. And I got one in blue and one in pink. And if you could love and share my page, I appreciate it. I'm going to scrunch these up. Keep it centered the best you can. If not, just pull it back and it'll come right back to you. Thank you, Carmen. Okay, so we're going to put this in the next time. Yellow going on the outside. No, orange is going on the outside. And yellow is going on the outside of this direction. And orange on the inside of this direction. Now I'm going to have to move this. It's driving me crazy. Hi, Christy. If you have time, go and see my Etsy shop. I also have a Facebook page and a YouTube channel. It is all C's, B's, Reefs, and Decors. Spelled exactly how it sounds. get any phrase, it's best just to get them while you see them.
do an orange on the outside. Yellow on the inside. And around. almost kind of reminds me of a poppy. Hi, Linda. Thanks for coming in. I got my bicycles at Walmart. They had two, and I got both. Yes, Vicki. I am putting them in opposites. Although I really don't know if it even matters, but that's what I'm doing. So the yellow um, was in the inside. So we're going to go with the orange on the outside and the yellow on the inside. I'm kind of doing kind of like um, a cinnamon roll in a way. They're kind of twisted in with each other. I cut my ruffles, um, Kathy, in 15 inches. I normally do 30, but since I'm putting two different ruffles in, which equals 30, I didn't want to overstuff the ruffle. It's something new I've been trying and and brainstorming about and so I thought I'd give it a, uh, a try tonight and see if I like it so far it looks really pretty Right 
I think it looks like kind of like a poppy. The ruffles are 15 inches long. The poofs were 20, um, excuse me, the poofs were um, 12 inches also with um, 21 inch mesh. This mesh I'm working with for the ruffles were 12 inch rolls. Hi, Patty. If you're just joining and this is your first time on my page, please um, put in your comments uh, live and or alert, and we'll get you um, signed up for um, future lives with me. And if you could like and share my page, I appreciate it. Thank y'all. Y'all, did I do yellow or orange? I think I did orange. Please share some love and thank Cheryl for being such a great moderator. She's my right hand gal. She's awesome. If you all need any help with your computer, she um, does have a fee, but it's very little. And she will help you out fixing what you can't fix. So. She has been a savior for me.
and she's with Al's Tech Talk. Okay, I think that was our last one on the bottom. Let me fix this one. We'll start on the top. Y'all want to see how it looks so far? Okay, so we're going to stop. start on the top. And I'm going to start with yellow because I'm going to go directly across from the orange. Hi, Deb. Thanks for joining us. Okay. Scrunch down, two twists. Orange in the middle. Yellow on the outside.
next um sunday i won't be on but i will be going on monday i'm just gonna do a little switch on that day and um i'm gonna be doing a fourth of july wreath so i hope y'all can join me What doesn't CC know yet? So y'all, I miscounted. So what I'm going to do is just cut a couple more. Move this to the side for just one second. But I'm going live on YouTube soon. Hmm. See, so y'all need a um, business coach like Cheryl because she makes you do things. <laughs> things that you didn't think that you would do. She is having you do them. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I miscounted. I just got four more to do. Let me get her back up here.
Yellow in the inside. Hi, Diane. Thanks for sharing. I hope you had a great trip, Diane. If you're just coming in, I'm just doing a um, a double ruffle on a 15-inch reef um, form, and um, I'm reversing the colors on it, and I'm doing a springtime uh, bike reef. Who wants to go to the beach and ride a bike and just... Um, Smell that salt air. I sure do. I'm glad you had a good time, Diane. Great, Tina. I'm glad you got um, both now. Last one. Well, Carmen, um, I used to go to Wildwood when I was a, um, a youngin. That's where I learned to um, skateboard and surf as a kid. Now, take that with a grain of salt because surfing, <laughs> I think I may have gotten up on the surfboard one time. <laughs> I 
I had an aunt that lived um, in Wildwood, and she um, lived, she had a beach house on the boardwalk, and we used to go there for, and enjoy our summers um, with our cousins and our aunts and uncles. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to, um, you guys want to see what it looks like? It's pretty bright. It's good. All right. So now I'm going to put in the, um, the rolls. Again, the rolls were 12 inches long, and they're in this iridescence kind of light blue um, color and um, where the um, eight is on here I'm going to go in between the two bottom and top and put it in between that right where that ties are Thank you, Tina. Thank you. Thank you, Carmen. So there's one. Again, guys, when you have really good mesh, um, it's easier to get in between, believe it or not. Um, when you use um, a, uh, a cheaper mesh, it seems like it's, it's harder to get in between the the mesh when you um, put your rolls in. Uh, that's what I'm finding. Thank you, Deb. You also want to make sure you straighten your poofs up that are down there. I'm hoping my sign goes on easy, uh, easy like these rolls are going on. <laughs> I'm always fighting with those signs. Thank <laughs> you. 
you yes signs are a different animal there needs to be a book on all that and I just have one more No, the um, the rolls that I'm using are kind of an iridescent light blue. It's very um, kind of sparkly. Um, let me show you. See if you can get a close up look on it. And in the camera, it kind of looks silver, but it is a light blue. I don't know if you can see it or not. Can't really see the color, but it is a light blue. I wanted to pick up that color in the bike. All right, so we're going to do ribbons. And again, um, I chose three different colors um, on each bottom and top. So I'll be doing three ribbons and reversing the colors. This one um, is like a little yellow check. And this one has an iridescent kind of rainbow looking color. And I have this little pink. Okay. And I'm going to start on the bottom. Also, y'all, I did a different cut on the ribbon. It's <clears throat> done with a pinch and shear. I wanted to do something a little different. And um, pinch and shears, if you don't know what they are, they're these scissors. And they have all these teeth. And when you cut it, it looks, um, it gives that uh, kind of decorative edge. You see that? Okay. Okay, so we're going to start on the bottom. Which, let me make sure I got the right ones. No, I don't. Hi, Susan. Okay, so let's, um, normally I would choose which one I'm going to put it in, but um, these colors are matching everything, so it doesn't really matter which um, place I put them in. Okay, and then for the other set, I did this um, iridescent kind of yellow, kind of um, orangey peach color. And then I chose this little plaid right here, which are greens and pinks and yellows. And then I went ahead and got a really pretty blue. And that's going into the next one.
Thanks, Diane. Thanks, Janet. And that will go on to the next one. And we're just going to continue on. Thank you, Janelle. I've had this kind of rainbow looking one for a while and I just um, did not know what to put with it. Obviously, it is going really well with this wreath. Thank you, Kathy. Um, Carmen, I got um, these ribbons in a m many places. Um, I can tell you that I know for a fact that the plaid and um, both plaids, actually, and the um, rainbow ribbon came from Michael's. I work at Michael's, so I tend to buy a lot of ribbon there when I see it on sale. Um, I don't buy it to match anything because um, if I did that, I would never get any ribbon on sale. <laughs> so I kind of go through my stuff and, and try to match whatever I'm making um, with the ribbons that I have. But um, I know that the blue one... In fact, came from uh, jo Joanne's. Yes, that one came from Joanne's. And also the um, iridescent um, one came from Michael's too. I am not using any Hobby Lobby ribbons tonight. These are some ribbons that... Um, that when I had them, I, I bought them on sale, and they didn't really match anything I was doing. So, just trying to um, figure out uh, if I can use them or not in other reefs. Because I got quite a bit of rolls. I think I paid like uh, $1.49 for them. No, actually, no. I, I think I bought them for $0.83. Cents. Because I work at Michael's and I get a discount, so I can't I can't exactly remember how much I spent, but it wasn't very much.
I love ribbon. But I'm running out of room. I'm going to have to find something to hold my ribbons. Right now I just have them in boxes and it's just a shambles because I can't find um, what I have. And I need to get them where I can see them. One more on the bottom. Thank you, Linda. Well, Mike needs to make me some ribbon holders. <laughs> Bless my husband. He doesn't have a crafty bone in his body. <laughs> I'm the handy chick around here, not him. Okay, so we're going to start on the top. And from the yellow, I'm going to go with the blue. And grab a drink. And thank you, Bonnie. Y'all, um, I chose this sparkle blue because um, we haven't worked with sparkle since Christmas, and I really wanted to see some little pizzazz, so that's why I chose that sparkly kind of blue. It's really pretty. I like it. Hi, Carla, Car uh, Carol. Just a couple more left.
Yes, then the fun begins after this last ribbon. Not this one right here, but I have one more. Actually, um, tonight I, I'm going to do some tubing. So I'm going to do um, my um, tubing first, and then I'll do my sign. It's a little sign tonight, so I'm hoping it won't give me too much problem. And I'm also putting it kind of on the side, so it shouldn't it shouldn't give me too much problem tonight. I say that and watch. I won't be able to get it on. Okay. So I picked out three different color tubings. We're going with a yellow, pink, and a blue. Okay. So I'm going to be doing tubing the three different colors in each um, tie. So I'm going to take one of each color. And I'm going to do a figure eight. And I'm going to start on the bottom. I like it. And my tubing is cut at 24 inches. Oh, I really like it. You guys, these colors are just beautiful together. I hope you can see that. It's um, pink, but it kind of looks corally, too. It actually matches this, this ribbon right here. Hi, Norma. Welcome in. Thanks for joining me. My name's Cece, and I'm with CB's Reefs and Decor. 
Tonight we're doing a bicycle theme. And I'm just now putting the tubing in. No, um, actually, one is from Dollar Tree and the other two are from um, Craft Outlet and the other one is from somebody I had bought offline. I go where the good price is, so if somebody's selling it cheap, I like to... Um, purchase it but I did buy a, a complete case at the dollar store so um, I do have quite a bit um, of tubing for spring and summer this one is Dollar Tree and it's the blue one You can tell the difference in the in the size of them. To uh, let me understand your question, Bonnie. To make a reef. Oh, Norma. Norma, um, let me understand your question. Are you asking how long does it take to make a reef? Or to learn how to make a reef? Well, Norma, uh, it will. It doesn't take hardly any time to learn how to make a reef. When you come up on um, lives like, especially mine, <laughs> um, we teach you. We teach you how to do it. Um, I learned in one afternoon. I did my first Dollar Tree reef. I didn't buy a bunch of expensive stuff. I went to the dollar store and I bought some mesh and everything that went with it. And um, I did one in probably about two, two, maybe three hours. But that was my first one. But, you know... Um, the more you put in your reef, the longer it takes to do your reef. And uh, I don't even know how long I've been on here, but I've been on here about an hour and a half. Um, but I'm also like showing everybody what I'm doing. So it does it takes longer when you're on a live.
thank you, Norma. Thank you so much. Sometimes your tie gets a little tight on the end there. Just got to scrunch it all down and do the best you can. Give me one sec. I ran out of, I have to get some more. Thank you, Norma.
goodness. Sorry for making a bunch of noise, guys. I actually um, fell down the stairs today. <laughs> and uh, I pulled a good muscle. So. So I didn't have any of my um, salmon color left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace it with this pink one. And when I go to the store, I'll just take it out and replace it. But I wanted to put one in just so y'all could see what the finished product is. I didn't want you to think I was colorblind. Just shy, just too, guys. Just shy too. That's okay. I'll go out and I'll get some tomorrow. Actually, I'm shy. Um. <laughs> Okay, so the tubing's done. Let me get to this sign. Again, I'll show you. Life is a beautiful ride. Yes, Carmen, I'm already sore. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm a tough cookie. Okay, so I think I'm going to put this sign over here. So I am going to feed my wire down in there. And feed this one. Not guys, I'm just dipping it upside down. I can't 
I'm not going to fuss with it tonight. <laughs> there. Yay! Okay. And these little bikes, I'm going to have to wire to. Okay. You know what? I thought y'all could get it in this wire here. Let me see if I can push this down. Oh my goodness, I think that's going to work. Take these off. And the one up top. This is the pink one, y'all. Not cute. are on there. This is what it looks like so far. I got some little daisies I want to put on. So, let's 
get those daisies on. And the daisies I picked out are these. Right there. All different colors, yellow. Let's see. I know I want some. I'm not going to put any on that other ribbon because I need to um, replace it. Those other two. So what I'll probably do is just um, put a tiny bit of glue there and then I'll be able to take it off because I'm not going to reuse that anyway. Thanks, Cheryl. more green I think up here alrighty maybe another yellow I think we're good. Wow. This is quite the big one. Let's look at it. Step back a little bit. What do you guys think? Thank you all for joining me tonight. And I hope you all enjoyed um, watching me make this fabulous, gorgeous wreath. I love it. Um, I will replace those two um, tubings and then I will take a picture and post it on my Etsy and Facebook. And uh, my YouTube video will be um, downloaded soon, and it'll be up for replay. 
I do appreciate you all for coming in. Um, please share the video and tell your friends and have them share and <laughs> your family and friends. Um, again, I'm Cece with CB's Reefs and Decor and Cheryl was my moderator. And you all have a wonderful evening and I will talk to you soon. Thank you, Janet. Bye-bye, everyone.